friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is an intermittent cataract let us watch management of this case this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus at around 11 o'clock now we can see some eyelashes exposed not covered by the drip. So, I take a scissor and trim these eyelashes and then wash away the eyelashes from the operating field. And now, a side port is to be made. The side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. One more side port is made at around 8 o'clock. Now I inject an air bubble through the 8 o'clock side port and through the same side port I inject tripe and blue dye. This is adrenaline. And now the dye is washed out. We can see some water pockets just underneath the anterior capsule. It looks like cycle spoke like pattern. And this indicates that it is an intermescent cataract go through the 8 o'clock side port, make a puncture at the center, make a C flap, take the uterator forceps, convert this C flap into a small rexus, a mini rexus. And now I use a Simco cannula to remove some cortex tap on the nucleus and hydrodissection occurs and the nucleus starts rotating and as I rotate the nucleus lot of cortex come out along the equator and they are removed. Now I inject visco, make a small nick at the rex margin at around 8 o'clock, take a uterator forceps and enlarge this mini rexes into an optimum size rexes. inject visco again and now is the time to introduce the handpiece. The FECO needle goes in with bevel up in this case and now watch submarine chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It travels through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and the nucleus is chopped. Rotate the nucleus 180 degree, go to a deeper plane and separate the two heminuclei completely and then chop this heminucleus. Tilt on fragment and subdivide it into two pieces and emulsify this fragment. And now I go to the other piece, again divide this piece into two pieces and emulsify. This is the other heminucleus, it is chopped into two pieces.
the two pieces were not completely separate, but I emulsified on this and this is the last nuclear fragment. The tip of the FACO needle is kept always at the central 3 millimeter safe zone where the anterior chamber depth is maximum and the posterior capsule is far behind. Yes, the nucleus has been nicely managed. And now a bit of visco is injected into the anterior chamber and then a Simco cannula is being used to remove the cortex. Most of the cortex is removed going through the main incision. This side port is small. Now see what happens. Here it is. I have caused genular dialysis for about one and a half clock hours from 11 o'clock to 12.30 o'clock. But I am not going to put a seat here. I am going to manage this by the haptic of the intraocular lens. So here goes the intraocular lens. This is a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. Leading haptic goes into the capsular bag. The trailing haptic is placed over the iris. Now I go through the right side port and gently put the leading haptic in the sulcus. And now I place the lens there, I do not rotate the lens. I want the trailing haptic to support the genular dialysis. With the Simco, most of the visco is being removed. And now I take the bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli. Rotate the lens little more. Some cortex at 12 o'clock is removed by the bimanual aspiration cannula. And the haptic at 12 o'clock is nicely supporting the genular tear. We can see that by the round shape of the rexus. Now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. This patient did very well in the postoperative period. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.